Now for a cyber alert. Despite what many Twitter users think, old tweets can be found and read by just about anyone with a little internet savvy. Here's a look at what you might want to think twice about when you tweet. So much of what we know, many of us learn on Twitter every day. Jillian Hyshaw watches her friends tweet on the job and in their personal lives. You have to be cognizant about what you say and do. It, it used to be you were waiting for the Library of Congress or the National Archives to make it available, which it won't be for a while. Or you could go through the laborious process of hitting older tweets, older tweets, right, at the bottom of the page. Not anymore. There are online tools like Topsy and Back Tweets, which make it super easy to go back in time to track a person's tweets. You can search by Twitter handle. You can search by topic and see what's been posted out there. They're free. You don't even need a Twitter account to use them. You just need to know what you're looking for. Teresa says in the early days of Twitter, most people probably didn't realize it would become so big. And they tweeted all kinds of things. When any new service is launched, just assume it might become popular and assume those crazy things you did in the beginning testing it out are all going to be there. Jillian is curious. You never know <laughs> who you're dating or who you're working with. So she says she will absolutely use these search tools just to get a better sense of who she's dealing with. So Teresa's advice is really watch your language on sites like Twitter and think really carefully about which opinions you choose to share. And always, she says, put your best face forward. Kristen Miranda, America Now.